G'day gang. So you remember the last time we left off? We were checking making sure there was no damage from the lifters. Well, the valve top seems seem good. I've got the cover off the front. And it's got a Jackson drive gear in there, which is going. We're going to put a double row roller chain on it. Get rid of this noisy, useless piece of junk. Look at it. Look at that. Look at that. That's all that holds these in, it's just sitting there. There's nothing holding them in, really. By the balancer, I suppose. Anyway, um, now we've got a couple of things we want to consider with this thing because it has had a set of lifters prior to, um, to this pull down. It did have a real clattery uh, noise about it. The guy said, and he put lifters in it himself. I don't know whether that was the same time that he put the cylinder heads on, but when you look around, you know, that's pretty grotty, so it was quite some time ago, as far as I can see. But I'm just going to show you. That's the lift that he, that he pulled apart, that he pulled out of it the last time we had a clatter. And um, I don't know how long they were in. But this fella here, it looks pretty deep in there, doesn't it? Compared to the other ones. Can you see the other ones? See what I'm talking about now? The reason for that is, <laughs> she went right through that one. Went right through the bottom of that one. So in amongst there's some oil crankcase. There's gonna be lots of metal, lots of bits of metal. So, we're going to be looking and making sure that everything we look at hasn't got excessive wear through metal. We're not pulling the crank to pieces and all that sort of gear. I'm just, we're just going to put this, put this um, other cam and a timing gear, a, a chain and um, chain and uh, gear set, and then of course the guys cam and lifters and, and so forth and. Um, I think um, yeah, it'll come up alright, there's no doubt about it. I'll be interested to hear what it sounds like, but anyway, pull the cam out, we'll look and see what shape that wobbly sticks in. Okay, not as wobbly as we'd like it to be. Most of the lobes are, you know, how they should be. I say most of them. That one there's flattened out a bit. That one there's flattened out a lot. Let's see by comparison to that one. Well, this one here is nearly completely round. It's almost like another fuel pump lobe. Yeah. One, two. Should have been the other fella. Here we go, up the back here, look. That's number three. She's flattened right out. That's why it sounded like she was running a bit ragged. Um, I guess I've got to... Um, Had a look in here. 
can bearings don't look too bad. They don't, don't look like they're clogged out. That looks like there's a bit of an edge there on that shot, but. They're in okay shape. So. Next step is to clean her up. Slide the cam in. I've got to order. Uh, I better order my parts now, I suppose. A, a uh, training gear set and all the gaskets required. And uh, get the scraper out and start cleaning up some surfaces. That'll give you an idea how much of the lobe's gone. All right, we've got them mirrored. And um, you should be able to see a bit of lobe <laughs> sticking up. <laughs> there's, no, there's not nothing there. Same as up this end. You know, we should be able to see something sticking out through here, like that one. But there's nothing. She's gone. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just plonk it in the hole. Temporarily, I'm just going to pop a lifter on top and I'm going to pop some push rods and a couple of rockers on there and just have a look and see where we're situated. What I was going to say is uh, the break in procedure. Uh, now everybody's heard about the, the um, you know, two thousand, two and a half thousand for 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, half PMs, you know what I mean? You know why that is though? Is it, do you think it's something to do with like a heat cycle that it goes through or a rate of friction because of that RPMs? The whole idea is that when all this is spinning a thing around at two and a half thousand RPMs, inside the inside the crankcase and all around the, the all around the, the uh, camshaft, around all the um, um, around the crank and uh, and the conrods and all around the place, oil's just flinging everywhere, flinging everywhere, and that's the that's the whole idea of it. You get when it's flinging, when it's flinging a thing, and as it's spinning a thing, it's flinging oil up on the cam, and that's that's the that's how it keeps lubricated till it's done that break in, till it's done that little season of the two metals together. So yeah. It's all about throwing oil everywhere. But, um, anyway, well, that all seems to be all right, you know. <clears throat> um, when I get the cam chain in hooked up, I've, I've already laid the cam in there and we're tight, but that bolt there holds it in retainer. It's got lube on the cam lobes breaking lube. I'm going to put more assembly lube all over the lifters which are, they've been soaking and I've just put them back in their boxes. As you can see we've just got some oil sitting on top there, just making sure that we get most of the air out of there which gives them a better chance of doing their job earlier. So we'll put, we'll put some breaking lube on the bottom of them before we put them in. And then we'll just probably do some bit, bit better measuring up with those push rods. Uh, from what I can tell at the minute, they're, they're, they're actually not too bad without the washers. Remember that we had the washers underneath? They're actually not too bad without the washers, so let's see what happens anyways. We'll do a bit of... They look like they're rolling, they're rolling well across the, the valve, so... We might get away with it. We'll see what happens. But anyway, I think until I can, uh, until I can get some more bits, gaskets and chains and what have you, I think we're just about buggered. So, until next time, check you later. We'll have some more bits to put back on here. Have a good one.